Not all air is, is the same. There, there are certain errors that would not be soul destroying. For example, two plus two equals five. That's an error. It's a propositional error. But if I embrace that, that doesn't destroy my soul. But if I embrace the heresy that same-sex acts are morally good, that, that could certainly be soul destroying, right? Yeah, Not and all it is air, for a great many yeah, people. Right, right. With, with full knowledge, full consent, absolutely. Um, so that, that would then be a mortal sin. That would be soul destroying. Um, you can't. So that, that's why I want to say not all error is created equal. Not all sure. errors are the same. Uh, some things could be erroneous propositionally, but not then soul destroying. And then some could be very much so soul destroying. Um, and to so, your point, that seems like that's what Christ is saying when he says, you know, if you reject the magisterium, you reject me. If you reject the apostles, it, you reject this me. Is important. He can't say that and then be like, well, here's a magisterium that errs in something that's soul destroying, and then mm. it's a damned if you do, damned if you don't proposition. This is important. And by the way, it also pertains not only to the teachings of the church, but also the prudential judgments. The Holy Spirit is protecting them from being a judgment that's so detrimental that would be soul destroying. Like the church can't promulgate a missile that would be soul destroying. That, that would completely undermine its very mission to sanctify the church. Um, and again, we're talking about on a, on a universal level. Like you could have things that happen on a local level that, that could be soul destroying, but on the universal level, no. Um, but, but you mentioned something important there because this is what Humani Generis, Pius XII actually says. He says about papal encyclicals. So he's talking about those non-definitive teachings. He's not talking about ex cathedra. He's not talking about infallible teachings. He's talking about non-definitive teachings, non-infallible teachings of a pope in an encyclical. He says of them in Humani Generis. He says those teachings embody what jesus said when he said he who hears you hears me he who doesn't hear you rejects me and him who sent me he applies those words to non-definitive teachings 